and I'm here with the Fellowship of Influencers, <laughs> Chanel, Joel, and Kelsey. <gasps> so in the teaser trailer, we're introduced to the first black elf. Mm -hmm. We're introduced to the first uh, female dwarf. Now diversity, especially on screen as an actor, means a lot to me because growing up, I hardly had that, you know, watching TV and watching a lot of films and stuff. Never saw people of my color. Why are you always lying? You lying so much. Young kids are gonna see that on mm. screen. It's just gonna be really nice for them to be like, oh, hey, there's someone that looks just like me. It's gonna be inspiring, right, for the next generation. More female representation. It just makes me so excited for the next generation. My disability mm. or my queerness just makes me so happy. It makes my heart warm. You could. Shut the fuck up! We get to see Sauron potentially. <laughs> he does do a lot of like corruption and manipulation. <laughs> if, 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 if Middle Earth had like a club, that was that's it. Prob that was it. Yeah. That, that Gandalf and Saruman probably link up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this tune is banging! <laughs> it's Radio Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Let's go! It's about to get lit like Mordor. Not lost lunch. Not listening. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, any more doomed from the start, any more ripperoni pepperonis, we found this unlisted video yesterday that was unimaginably cringe. But what if I told you that I had six other versions of this video from six other nations and every single video was a literal shot for shot remake of the other one? that the people in these videos were not actually, I know this is probably going to shock you, it may shock and appall you. They weren't super fans. In fact, they were being directed to do very specific things as the camera rolled over their fake excited faces for a show that is far from anything Tolkien would have ever signed off on. It is Lord of the Rings in name only. It is brought to you by no sponsor, no sponsor, none. Just let you know, I have an Instagram. And if you use Instagram, I would love for you to join me there. I've been doing one minute shorts there, reels, where I cover the days, like two or three biggest stories in like 50 seconds. And uh, people seem to really be liking them. So if you use Instagram, I'm the quartering YT on YouTube. I'm sorry, I'm the quartering YT on Instagram. I think I had the quartering at some time, but I lost the login, so whatever. But uh, I'll leave the link in the description or pinned comment, and it'd be awesome if you joined me. Um, so <clears throat> I just want to check in. first. Well, first, I want to give a huge shout out to a fellow YouTuber. Uh, I feel like I've seen them in my chats before, but I can't say for sure. They were the one that, for what I've seen, that have unearthed the hilarity of the shot for shot remake uh, i just subscribed to them and you should check them out too disparu disparu d-i-s-p-a-r-u looks like they're an up-and-coming youtuber with about four thousand uh subscribers i just subscribed to um and i hope he doesn't mind uh, but i want to show you a little bit of what he shared and you know also by the way check him out um he put the four different four different versions i actually have more Four different versions of the trailer, exactly the same, right? Played them exactly the same. Here's the UK, Spain, Germany, and Italy. He time synced them all. And so they were exactly the same. And you could also clearly see from his research, which again, watch his video. I'm not going to play it through here. That'd be crummy. Big YouTuber, like stealing his hard work. So check his video out. But he also discovered, among other things, that there were clear recuts, that there were clear, like, okay, watch it and do this thing. Now rewatch it and everyone get your phones out. And now rewatch it and everybody look all serious. He expertly points out, like, here's the serious look. Everybody's totally dialed in. Then it's bring your cell phones out. And, like, I don't know if, I don't remember if he mentioned this in the video or not, but. I will say this, like, this was a one-minute trailer, okay? A one-minute teaser, <clears throat> which means it's highly unlikely that they were able to obtain all three coordinated reactions in one viewing, which supports his theory that these people had to watch the trailer multiple times and fake their reactions to it. They also, for the rest of the video, and again, watch his video, shot for shot, 
Here's UK, Spain, Germany, Italy. Everybody walking up the stairs. Everybody pausing at the door. Everybody walking through the ring of fire. Every, I mean, like, literally everybody looking to the left. Everyone look up and to the left. Everyone look up and to the left. It is so hilariously scripted. This is a... You got to watch this video because it's so good. Um, and this dude definitely knows more about Lord of the Rings than I do. He has a deeper knowledge of lore, but he also talks about some of these other ones, which I'm going to get into. So we talked about, by the way, I was certain that they would have disabled comments and uh, the like to dislike ratio by now, but they have not. This video currently has... 134 likes on 49,000 views. 134 likes, 10,000 dislikes. 10,000. By the way, some people inform me who some of these people are. This is the only person that seems like a genuine Lord of the Rings fan. Um, someone told me they did like a fan fiction movie about the Lestrange sisters and Harry Potter and that they're like a genuine you know, nerd. Um, but also in the highly scripted version of this, they made, they made her say it felt me. It made me feel good to see somebody with my disability be like this entire 12 minute video. They talk about three things being inclusive representation and cringe laughs. That's it. Let's look at some of how the comments are going. But Let's actually just see if there's anything, if people are still viewing it. 10,000 downvotes, and this was unlisted at just 1,700 downvotes. I can't actually believe how bad this is. Cancel your prime if you have a spine. I saw that going in my live chat last night. I don't disagree with that. I'm probably on the same end politically as these people, but it really does give me the impression of being Tolkien. It do, they really don't give me the impression of being Tolkien super fans. It's just farcical. It's going to be a flaming heap of garbage. So I have this, uh, oh, this add-on, Get Woke, Go Broke, so bad. Uh, I smell Campbell as Space Kids. That was another hilariously fake video. Um, like, legit would be surprised if none of these weirdos even read Lord of the Rings. I don't know. This, the, the girl, uh, the girl on the right, the first girl, she seems like she understands it. But then she also says something crazy like, yeah, why did they create the rings? Which, like, we know why the rings were created. And it was, it was really weird. This other guy with the uh, sword earring, the only thing he adds to the whole conversation, and he says it three different times, is, yeah, it's. I wonder how it's going to be, uh, you know, I wonder if uh, they're going to show us how the rings are made. It's like someone handed him that talking point. Now that we know how overly produced these were, there's no way that any of these people are sharing their own original ideas. There's just no way. This woman was clearly told, you have to talk about Galadriel. And you have to talk about your girl. And you have to be excited about it. This guy, um, I don't know if he's, you know, uh, in the community. But he certainly acts like it. They told him to talk about making the ring and representation. Um... You know, it's going to be so awesome that I can see a black elf because I just simply couldn't enjoy Tolkien's work without seeing a black elf. Then they told this girl, I don't know what her disability is. Don't care. Irrelevant. Um, they told her, make sure you say it was really nice to see somebody with your same disability represented. I don't know what that is. Somebody said she had a fake eye. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I mean, it looks like she does, but... Maybe she's referring to something else. Don't care. None of my business what her personal, you know, conditions are. But what's funny is if you look at all these other nations, there's something very curious, okay? This is supposed to be representative of the UK, right? This is Amazon UK. Isn't a white guy on the stage. Is that inherently a bad thing? No, I can't say that it is. But we know who was handpicked and why they were handpicked. The UK is something like 80% white. <laughs> like I just say it, it's 70%, right? But the UK is also painfully woke. If we look at, uh, here's the Netherlands. By the way, shout out to the redhead. Actually, 
Well, look at this. Three good-looking people who aren't obese and and um, woke. It's like, uh, wow, good-looking women on TV and on on screen. Wow, what a crazy coincidence. Only twenty likes. Oh, that's an unfair pause screen. <laughs> this is the German version. Twenty minutes long. Interesting, not very diverse. Interesting, not very diverse. How about here is Italy? Not, wow, really not diverse. Six people on stage and they all look alike? This video has to be canceled. By the way, it also has the most likes of all the videos. Interesting. And then we have France, where they just have this one dude in a four minute video, and like a minute of it is them applying makeup to him. I've never had makeup put on my face. I'm told that it's kind of like, you know, a required thing if you're going to be on camera. I don't know. I'm on camera every day. I think I look pretty dang good. The, but now that YouTube has picked this up, you know, you're starting to see, uh, you know, more and more articles. Lord of the Rings fans slam Amazon's rings of power for trying to be woke. This is what I always kind of talk about, though, is that it's not necessarily that something is inclusive that makes it bad. It just isn't. But you can't also then say that making something, you know, following the lore of something else is inherently bad, right? Like there, the implication is that Tolkien's work, the way it is, is it could be inherently improved, unquestionably improved by having black dwarves and black elves. And if you disagree with that, you're a racist. That's the that's the narrative of how they put it, right? But there's actually no science or data behind that. It's just rhetoric. It's just um, bullying. Just watch this video and tell me if you think that there's going to be any good that comes out of this. Age of Middle Earth, because yeah. it's really one of the times where a lot of like the underlying kind of plot threads of the Lord of the Rings comes into things. Yeah. And so we get to see like uh, the rings, hopefully we'll make see the rings of power being forged. Oh, yes. we get By the way, he says that three times. He's forced to answer the question about what he's most interested in about the rings of power. And his answer every single time, even when unrelated, is seeing the rings of power forged. You must... You cannot tell me that this wasn't forced and on purpose. Like, you just... There's no way. By the way, there was hardly anybody at this. And, like, this... This is... Oh, my... This is what my favorite exchange... Plus, if we had that all, like, straight away, we need season two, multiple seasons, multiple you know. Do you think we're going to see another side of Sauron? Yes. Like, maybe he falls in love. I, I maybe mean, there's a reason. Every villain is a hero in his own story, right? I think right? we're going to find out more. Literally nobody wants to see another side of Sauron. And by the way, his name is not Sauron. It's Sauron. Nobody wants to see another side of Sauron. People are going to fall in love with him and be like, I can change him. <laughs> <laughs> we all love a bad boy, don't oh, we? Do you have any predictions of what's going to happen in the series when September 2nd drops? Ooh. I, just I bet you he's going to say something about the rings of power being forged. Hold on. I just want to see Gladriel, um, basically the story of getting that dagger. I'm obsessed yeah. with that dagger too. I feel like there's going to be a bit of romance. There's always romance mm. amongst the elves, and it's like, you can't be with him. Wow. Well, Why not? He's my ex. There's <laughs> always. Yeah. I saw there's like a human and an elf in yeah. like a forbidden romance yeah. kind of thing. And like during yeah. this period, like humans and elves weren't really getting along. Mm. You mean like the human elf relationship that existed in the in the Peter Jackson trilogy and in the original trilogy of books? Did you even watch it? It's not new. It wouldn't be new and undone if Amazon did it. And so I think that's where some of the conflict might be coming yes, in. Yes, the fighting. Yeah, a little stroking of the. Oh yeah, the fighting. The fighting. Is yeah, like, <laughs> elf is right. I need a reason to tell everyone watching. Why they should watch the teaser trailer. Galadriel, like. <laughs> again, these women were clearly told to say Galadriel over and over again. 
Wow! If you're a law buff like me, I think it will be really interesting to see this kind of expansive look at Middle Earth. Nice. He is not a lore buff. He is not a lore buff. At all. And if he is, by the way, shout out to maybe this just being horribly edited. But if he really is a, a Tolkien lore buff, then this video did not prove it. This show is going to be an unmitigated disaster. And a really important thing uh, I've told people last night on stream. There's literally nothing wrong if you just want to watch it and enjoy it. That's cringe to tell people to not watch stuff. But if you're just hate watching it because you feel like you have to, you're you're participating in becoming part of the problem. Find other ways to watch it if you absolutely have to watch it. And you don't have to watch it because I believe that this show is going to absolutely tank at Amazon. I can't wait for September 2nd when it launches, but that's a long way from now for everyone to see more hype and more interesting <laughs> things from Amazon between now and then. I literally can't wait. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.